The next bone we're going to look at is going to be our humerus. Again, this is our arm bone. So if you put my arm here, this is going to be my arm bone. Our task is going to be identify left or right, as well as some of our bony landmarks. Okay, so let's have a look. So as we look at our humerus, we're going to start at the uppermost aspect. We have our head. We're going to have two necks on the humerus. We have our anatomical neck, and we're going to have our, if you draw a circle around this portion here, our surgical neck. Now, if you look closely, you notice there's a couple bumps here. We have a larger bump and a smaller bump. Now, the first larger bump is going to be called our greater tubercle. Our smaller is going to be called our lesser tubercle. And you also notice that there's a valley or a groove in between those tubercles. That is going to be called our intertubercular sulcus. We're going to find another major protrusion right here. Any bump on a bone is called a tuberosity. This is our deltoid tuberosity. The deltoid muscle will attach here. The main portion of this bone is called the body or the shaft. As we go to our, again, we go back to our terms where we started at our proximal end. We're going to work towards our distal end. We're going to look at our condyles. Now, our condyles are going to be uh, super important because they're not just called condyles. They have specialized name, our names. Our first one here looks like a spool, like a spool that we put thread on. This is called the trochlea. Our big rounded one right here looks like a nice big bald head. It is called a capitulum, capis for head, capitulum. We have our epicondyle, so bony projections on top of our condyles. This largest projection is going to be a really important landmark as this is going to help us identify left or right. Remember, every one of our bones here on out are going to have at least two landmarks that's going to help us identify left or right. This is called our medial epicondyle, so on top of that trochlea, on top of that condyle. So if you think about that, it's called the medial epicondyle. That means it's going to face medially towards the inside of the body. Well, on the outside, we have another projection on top of this capitulum that is called the lateral epicondyle. Let's look at some of our holes, some of our little depressions here. Again, sorry, I didn't mean hole. I don't want to confuse you, but let's shallow depression. We're going to use the word fossa. We're going to have our radial fossa. And again, you should hear the word radius and be thinking, oh, there's going to be some action between the radius and this little depression here. We're going to have the coronoid fossa right here as well. And if we go to the back, super important aspect, this depression is called the olecranon fossa. Now that olecranon fossa, that really, really deep depression in here is going to help us orient this bone anterior and posterior, this depression gives us uh, that downward. So this should always be facing downward when we're talking about this bone so that we know that this is a median epicondyle, that olecranon fossa is downward. So this would be a right humerus, okay? Right humerus. Let's put this down and we'll move on to our next bone.